Here's a case for newspapers in the online age. You can get a hard copy of the paper and read it after dinner on your favorite chair like your grandfather did. That's still cool because we live in an age of immediate information. People don't wait anymore for the morning paper like they did or even the 6 o'clock news like they once did because they already know about it. It came on their phone. Trouble is they know the information, they know the headline, but they don't know the story. You can still get the story in the newspaper, a little more depth. I mean, enough people, younger people especially, don't really read books anymore, write letters anymore in this high-tech age. They're just getting the information, Twitter, Facebook, uh, or even online, but they don't read the story. So I would recommend that we give newspapers a chance. And you can actually read the newspapers online, and because they're online, they have more time to put in more stuff, more links, more photos, because they're not uh, restricted as much by space as in the hard copy. We live in a world where everything's immediate. We must know it. Somebody says, did you hear that Jerry Lewis died? Well, I, I saw that on my phone last night. Nobody cares anymore whether they're gathering at 8 o'clock to watch a show because they can watch it on their own time, on demand. You can watch whole series without commercials on Netflix now. And that's all fine. It's all good to have the technology, but we need the story. We need some depth. And newspapers can do that better than their counterparts, in my view, because everybody else has an immediate commercial or they're teasing the next segment. There's no time. There's no time in society. People used to have dinner at 6 o'clock together with 10 kids. What happened to that? Everybody's off to a rehearsal, karate practice, baseball practice, football practice, ballet, cheerleading, whatever. We don't have time for things we used to do. We have a country we don't talk to each other. We just look down at our phone. We have earbuds with our phone. I would say take a time out, turn off the TV, and pick up the newspaper. It might do you some good. My two cents, my two minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants. Bill McCoshin, a lobbyist to work for Tommy, who knows how to get things done downtown, and he still reads the paper, I'll tell you. We'll tell him this and more on The Mitch Hanks Show on MadisonTalks.com.